In this video, we'll be going over how to find the current and voltage of each resistor in a series circuit. We will be taking real-world measurements and completing calculations. The first step is to find the voltage across the battery. This can be done by taking each of the probes of the multimeter and placing them on either side of the battery. We got a voltage of about 4.9 volts in this case. We now need to find the resistance of each resistor. We can do this by switching to ohms on our multimeter and placing the probes on either side of each resistor. We get a resistance of resistor 1 of 21.8 thousand ohms, a resistance of resistor 2 of 4.6 thousand ohms, and a resistance of resistor 3 of 9.8 thousand ohms. Now in series circuits, we can add up the resistance of each resistor to get the total resistance of the circuit. We get a total resistance of 36.2 kilo ohms. Now we can use the formula voltage equals current times resistance, or in other words, V equals IR. Rearranging the formula so that current is on one side, we get that voltage over resistance equals current. Now to find the current that is going through the circuit, we can take the voltage of 4.9 volts over the total resistance that we found of 36.2 thousand ohms. After plugging in our numbers, we get a total current of the circuit of 0.135 milliamps. We can take a current reading in the circuit by breaking the circuit and putting the voltmeter, which is acting as an amp meter, in the circuit in series. We get close to the calculated value. In a series circuit, the total current goes through each resistor. Now with that knowledge, we can go on to solve for the voltage of each resistor. We can use the formula V equals IR, which we will be plugging the total current into and the resistance of each resistor and we can use the formula voltage 1 plus voltage 2 plus voltage 3 equals the voltage of the total circuit to check our work. We can now plug in the resistance and the total current that we found to find the voltage of each resistor. We get a voltage of resistor 1 of 2.943 volts, a voltage of resistor 2 of 0.621 volts, and a voltage of resistor 3 of 1.323 volts. This matches pretty closely to the experimental values we got using the multimeter. There might be some variance due to rounding. To check ourselves, let's add up the voltages and see how close we are to the voltage of the total circuit. We get a total calculated voltage of 4.887 volts. This is close to the actual value, but may not be exact due to rounding. That concludes this video. Hopefully I earned a like, share, or subscription. If you like this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well.